Next is question number 2.5. The question is a solution of glucose in water is labeled as 10% W by W, weight by weight. What would be the molality and mole fraction of each component in the solution? And if the density of the solution is 1.2 gram per ml, then what shall be the molarity of the solution? As long as you can understand the first sentence here, the remaining is just by formula. So you are given with W by W weight by weight and you are asked to calculate what is the molarity and mole fraction from this. After that density is given using density you can calculate what is molarity. It's a very simple problem as long as you can understand the first sentence it says 10% W by W. So let's see what that particular sentence means. So here we can write that 10% W by W all right, of what? of glucose means 10 grams of glucose in 100 grams of solution. So it is W by W which means weight by weight. So you are supposed to give that meaning in terms of grams. So 100 grams of solute and 100 grams of solution. Now we know that whenever you have solute and solution, we can always say that mass of solution equals mass of solute plus mass of solvent. When you add both, you get what is the mass of solution. But out of this, you know what's a mass of solution, you know what's a mass of solute, you can find out what is a mass of solvent. So I can say that mass of solvent equals mass of solution minus mass of solute. Simple formula. So mass of solution is how much? 100 grams minus mass of solute is 10 grams. So when I simplify, I get 90 grams, which is the mass of solvent. So these are the certain things that you get from the question. All right. Now let's start calculating. The first question is what will be the molality? Let's write the formula of molality first. Mark this as A. So we can say molality formula equals number of moles of solute by mass of mass of solvent in kg now what is the solute you are looking here at glucose all right and what is the solvent that you are looking at in water it is told. So mass of solvent, solvent is water. So these things are very clear. Now, number of moles of solute is not given to us at all. We need to calculate it. Mass of solvent, we have it here, but it's in grams. We can convert it to kg. Okay. So first we'll calculate what is number of moles. Now, number of moles equals given mass by molar mass now for solute given mass is here in the question 10 grams molar mass we have not calculated for glucose we need to calculate what is the molar mass of glucose so let's calculate it here we can say that molar mass of glucose what is the formula of glucose? It's a very simple one. C6H12O6. That's the formula for glucose. So here we can say number of atoms of glucose of carbon is 6 into atomic mass of carbon is 12. Plus number of atoms of hydrogen is 12 into atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. Plus number of atoms of oxygen is 6. Plus atomic mass of oxygen is 16. When you calculate it, 12 into 6 will be 72. Plus 12 plus 16 into 6 is going to be 96. 
when I calculate I am getting 180 grams per mole. Alright, now when I substitute this back in the number of moles, given mass of the solute is 10 grams divided by molar mass is 180 grams. So this is gram and this is gram per mole. Gram and gram will get cancelled. 10 by 180 is going to be 0 0.0555 moles. So we know what's the number of moles. Now, mass of solvent in kg, here this is in kg in grams over here. To get it kg, you got to divide this by 1000. Okay, so we'll substitute the value. Number of moles is going to be 0 0.0555 moles by 0 0.990 divided by 1000 to convert it to kilogram will be 0 0.090 kg because it will convert it to kg. When I simplify this entire thing, I will get 0 0.616 mole kg when it goes up, it becomes per kg. That is going to be the molarity. Alright, now second one is going to be molality. Sorry, mole fraction. Now, for mole fraction, Now here it says mole fraction of each component and how many components do I have? Glucose and water, two components. So I'm going to calculate for both. Now we'll calculate for glucose. So mole fraction of glucose is number of moles of glucose by number of moles of glucose plus number of moles of water. All right. Now in this number of moles of glucose, number of moles of glucose we found out here, it is here. Number of moles of water we haven't found out, let's calculate that. So number of moles of water is given mass of water. What is the given mass of the solvent here? In this case the given mass is 90 grams. So we can write 90 divided by molar mass of water is by heart for all of us it is 18 when you do 90 by 18 you get 5 moles that is going to be number of moles of water let's substitute in this equation number of moles of glucose is this 0 0.0555 divided by number of moles of glucose again same 0 0.555 plus number of moles of water is 5 when we substitute, when we clean off all this, we will get 0 0.01097, which is the mole frac number of mole fraction of glucose. Now, instead of repeating the same mole fraction for water, there's a simple way to do it. Instead of doing the, the regular formula method, we can do that mole fraction of glucose plus mole fraction of water equals 1. This is a standard thing. So when we have two components here or three components, add up all the mole fraction that will be equal to 1. Same thing here also. When you add up both is equal to 1. In this mole fraction of glucose, you know 1 is constant. Mole fraction of water is what you have to find out. So I can write x of water is equal to 1 minus mole fraction of glucose. Now that is 1 minus, what is the mole fraction of glucose? It is 0 0.01097. When I simplify this, I will get 0 0.9890. This is going to be the mole fraction for water. You can use the mole fraction of water in the same formula method. It's up to you. But this saves more time so you can follow any one method. So in this, the second part is also done, which is the mole fraction of glucose and water. Last third question is if the density is this much what is the molarity of the solution so for that part c is molarity okay so molarity is equal to number of moles of glucose or the solute 
divided by volume of solution in liter. Number of moles of glucose we just calculated. It's here already. You need to know what's the volume of solution. It's not given to us directly. All right. So volume of the solution is not given. In that case, you will use the density that is given to us in the question. That is a density formula is equal to mass of solution by volume of solution. In this density of solution is in the question. Mass is there here of the solution. Mass of solution is 100 grams. Let's substitute it. So we can say that volume of solution is equal to mass of the solution is going to be 100 grams by density is 1.2 gram per ml. When we minus this and this, you will get 100 by 1.2 is now going to be 88.33 ml because ml goes up it becomes ml now this ml can't be in this unit it has to be in liters so divided by 1000 when you divide it by 1000 this will become 0 0.08833 liter so you have what is the volume of solution also let's substitute both in the molarity formula so when you write the molarity formula molarity equals number of moles of glucose is here 0 0.0555 moles by volume of solution in liters 0 0.08833 liters simplify this and you will get your answer here as 0 0.66 moles liter goes up it will become mole per liter that answers your third question